Hello, I do this for the thumbnail. I'm reading Gary Vanderchuk's book and I'm doing the challenge and uh, this is the third day that I did push-ups when I got home. I worked nights, I went to sleep, I did my push-ups and then I went to sleep and now I'm getting back up to go to work. It's strange when you work nights because you start on one day but you end on another and your whole life is backwards. But anyway, I want to talk about this book again, but I have to give you some context. A con, yeah, context. Anyway, and I've got notes here so I don't ramble because uh, I, I did uh, my first long style video yesterday and I just rambled and it was a, a mess. So, but I'm going to show my work. I'm going to show how terrible I am and what, what I'm doing. And so I'm just going to try to hit some bullet points here and, uh, Maybe I won't ramble so much for you who are listening to this so you don't feel like your life is being wasted. Uh, I just want to state that uh, I've been, my whole life I've been looking for answers and I've not been able to find them. And so now that I'm older, uh, I've been able to find them. And so what I want to say to everyone out there it's never too late to start something new or to, to change direction because it's never too late to fix something. Again, it's never too late to start something new because it's never too late to fix something. And it's never too late to grow. And uh, when you grow, don't trust anybody. You have to remember to hold two opposing thoughts in your head. Get used to that. Nobody knows what you think they know. You go to your doctor, you get his opinion, but he may not know himself. He may be working off old information. So test everyone. B, hold two opposing thoughts by being pessimistically optimistic. I know it sounds fucking crazy, but if you're completely pessimistic, you'll have a shitty life and you'll be afraid to move and you'll have uh, paralysis by analysis. And so if you're optimistic, you're just always thinking everything's good and you're throwing your control away. So be pessimistically optimistic. Plan for the worst and hope and be uh, encouraged for the best. And I know it sounds counterintuitive and I know it sounds crazy, but you know in your heart that it's right, in your mind. Because, and again, test me. But when you test somebody and when you test someone, don't just believe them. When you test them, test them, be curious. Don't go in there and try to prove uh, your old way of thinking your old support, because that's not going to do you any good. When you test, test as, as uh, hard and as honestly as you can. And then once you test, look at the data and look at it honestly. And be curious. Be curious to see if you find something new. And if you find something new, then try it. Your life will change. Most people when they hear something new, they try and support their old knowledge. And Jim Quick, who's not Gary Vanderchuk, but Jim Quick, another person says, when you hold your limiting beliefs, you get to keep them. So why do I talk about all these other influencers when I'm talking about Gary Vanderchuk? I'm telling you all this because this book is good. It's, it's information, it's great, but if you don't apply it, your life's never going to change and my life's never going to change. And I'm not saying this to you, I'm saying this to myself. These videos are really for myself or for people who are seeking like I am. But uh, so I just want to say that that's, I'm trying not to ramble here. And so uh, when I started this journey, and I need to remember when I make these videos to uh, fill in a segue 
just not start just not start talking about other authors but i did not i've been on a self help seeking journey my whole life my whole life but just since youtube started up uh in the past 10 years and then i started work looking at youtube that's when uh, I've started finding out all these influencers and I'm rambling here and I'm sorry, but again, I'm going to show you my work. I'm just messing up. You're going to see mistakes. You're going to see all this and I, it's going to take a few minutes to, to waddle through this. I'll get better, hopefully. But before I, I found out about Gary Vanderchuk, I was just searching on YouTube and who I found first on YouTube was Evan Carmichael because he said, I believe in you. And he started talking about all these different people. Then I saw Kung Fu Hustler and he was a guy that bought storage units and uh, made money that way. And then his channel kind of went away. And then from there, I saw Leo on actualize.org. And Leo uh, taught me a lot of, or talked a lot about uh, self-awareness and uh, improving and uh, the, the psychological, emotional, and uh, just the meaning of life. But he, it was pretty interesting. But through those very remote channels, I was introduced to Ty Lopez uh, through Kung Fu Hustler talking about him, talking about knowledge, and then I saw his advertisement. And then through Ty Lopez, I bought the 67 Steps. And through G Ty Lopez, I saw him interview Gary Vanderchuk. And I loved Gary Vanderchuk the first time I met him. I, I liked him because he was honest, he was kind, he was enthusiastic. And he swore and he was just transparent and uh, I thought he was a genuine guy. And he didn't try, he didn't judge himself and he didn't judge other people. And that was why he didn't judge himself because he didn't judge other people. And he was quick to forgive. So he was, that's what I liked about him. And then through Ty Lopez, I met Gary B, Tom Bilyeu, and Lewis Howes. And then from Tom Bilyeu and Lewis Howes, I saw I, I was introduced to Jim Quick, and I was introduced to Brandon Burchard, and I was introduced to Tim Ferriss, and Jaco Willing, and David Goggins, and a whole host of others. But these are the people that I'm going to reference today. And so when I talk about the 12 steps, I'm also talking about these other people because they influence me and because every day I do things because of what they are talking about. Now, I could go back to when I was young and everything that I would do, and I will. I will, because I'm going to show my work. But right now, I want this video to be kind of short. So, I have to kind of look through my notes here and want to tell you, uh, Ty Lopez, uh, Tom Bilyeu, uh, Lewis Howes, all of them say that if you want to improve, you have to be curious and you can't look for knowledge just to support what you believe now. You have to allow yourself to be confused. You have to allow yourself to be open and you have to allow yourself to be uh, curious. And that is when you will learn. And it doesn't matter how old you are. See, the little kids learn fast because they don't judge themselves. They don't feel bad if it takes forever. And you have to become like that. Older people, they were told five, six years ago even, that uh, when I first started with Ty Lopez, he said, you know, older people don't learn. It's, it's only younger people. But they're turning, it's not that way. It is, in fact, your brain is, is, uh, has brain plasticity and you can always learn. So that's what I'm proving. I'm proving you can always improve. And so I, yesterday I, I quoted Tom Bilyeu saying, <laughs> I said the quote wrong. Um, the quote is, you can't make... Uh, and now I'm going to screw it up again. You can't make a racehorse out of a pig, but you can make a really fast motherfucking pig. But <laughs> I said you can't make a pig out of a racehorse, but you can, anyway, I think you can get it, but you, you need to see the mistakes. I'm going to, if I'm, I'm going to show you that I exercise, I'm going to, I'm over these videos, I'm going to do things. And uh, if I burp, if I fart, I'm going to keep it in because when you exercise, you fart. And uh, the, it, some people may think it's gross, some people may think it's funny, but most people will think that it's uh, useful. If you're, if you're actually, you know, one thing about your parents is they teach you by example. We learn by example. 
So I'm willing to be an example. I'm willing to show you my mistakes, my everything. So at least you get an honest, you can see the, the process. The process learning and life is not pretty. <laughs> it's not, it just is what it is. And yeah, I sit here and I scratch myself because I get nervous, but I itch. But so anyway, that's what I'm doing. So when I talk about the 12 steps and when I talk about all this, it, you have to apply this. So when he talks about gratitude, you have to practice it. When he talks about being self-aware, you have to know what's important to you and what isn't and what, your, and what your agenda is. And again, see, I'm scratching myself like I got fleas. But uh, so that's what I'm trying to do. This is 10 minute long. It's already a long video, so I'm going to stop. Uh, but yeah, I just, a lot of people talk, but uh, I just want to tell you that uh, I'm just going to show my work. And uh, thanks for, uh, this is for you. This is for you. Anyway, um, I'm going to take this off the holder and say, Bob out.